When I was testing update 220 balance changes, I realized something. GL4D deals 1.3k damage. Medic has 1.8k health. Yet, the Medic died for no real reason. There are other stuff too. In typical Oracle fashion, new update broke some stuff for no real reason, and I will be showing them off in this video. Since this update is very recent, I will be rushing this video in order to point out the problems as early as possible. I can't provide explanations behind the box since I can't tell what's going on anymore. Yes, explosions deal double the damage. This affects grenade launchers and maybe every other explosion type too. I didn't check everything since bug testing is not my job. This is what overkill should be doing, not me. This introduces multiple problems for the gameplay. First thing is that launchers are too powerful now. Second thing is the Zerg methods that rely on explosives don't work properly. Two birds in one stone overkill, bravo. My guess on the why this happened is this is this line of code that is removed from the game. I don't know how this should cause a problem, but I didn't see any changes to the projectiles or explosions that might have caused this in any way. I mean, there are changes to projectile stuff, but I can't see how it is meant to break it. So I have no idea. Another thing Stalin figured out was the higher damage for Dragon's Breath. Dragon's Breath now deals 140 damage per tick instead of standard 100. This is... But this is my finding. According to Stalin, his initial damage is higher than intended, while his DOT damage stays at 100. But we are both are certain from one thing. Dragon's Breath is now dealing higher damage for no real reason. Fire grenade modification for the grenade launchers also doesn't work the way it used to. This also kills few niche zerg methods as well as making it even less useful than they already are. I have a theory on why this happens. They added new verification code for the damage because of the broken achievements. Maybe the best course of action in this case would be to just delete the achievements that are broken. Because this instance alone shows that you can't really fix stuff. If you can't fix it, get rid of the problem. <laughs> no one will judge you for losing two achievements in a game where you have thousand more. They also put the real model of Brenner, RPK and KSB58 forward. I don't know how did they even manage that, but this is something else they should revert. There are probably more, but what am I supposed to do about all of this? I just hate seeing this game not only staying at a broken state, but also getting more and more and more broken as the time goes on. I don't know about you, but bulldozers, tasers and medics shouting their lines after they die kills me inside. And this is a recent vlog as well, by the way. This game wasn't even polished to begin with. I understand not wanting to fix that decade euro problems that doesn't even matter anymore. I understand not wanting to fix visual glitches that are caused by someone else's work. But I'm not accepting adding more bugs into the mix and making everything worse and worse. This is the quality of the new stuff in the game. They don't show enough care for the product they work on, both for the fixes and their DLCs. Why should we care about the company that is making this content? I rest my case here, see you in two days with another podcast.